Hello everybody and welcome back to the March 2018 PlayStation Plus Showcase. Name still to be determined. So yeah, today we're going to be taking a look at Ratchet and Clank 2016. A little later than usual, but eh, better, well, not usual, but a little later than intended. But better late than never, let's roll. So, oh, we are starting off, yikes. Okay, um. Come in, Rangers. I am inside Red Minor spoilers, I guess. I wish I was in that tent with you. You know what? Let's rectify this. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm a trained professional here, but, um. You know, now that I think about it, as long as I skip cutscenes, no major spoilers, I guess. So, yeah, this is Ratchet and Clank 2016. I already own this game, as you can clearly tell by this save file, and it's dang near perfect. Um, only missing, like, just, I, I want to say about two or three trophies. Yeah, what we're doing right now is just like a little Clank section. Uh, this returns from all the previous Ratchet and Clank games, where it's like you have to use Clank and, well, Gadgetbots. Or, I, I think they're called Gadgetbots in this game. I have completely forgotten. It's been a hot minute since I popped this one in. But, yeah, uh, you have to use Clank to navigate through these little puzzle platforming sections with his tiny little robo-buddies. Only in this game, the robots are multi-purpose and you can assign roles to them. So, for example, we want to power up that generator. We're going to turn this one into a power bot, toss them at it, and boom, that door is open. And for our troubles, we get a bomb. And we want to use that bomb to blast open that door over there. So, I have a little bridge bot right here already. Going to go ahead, get him up, toss him right there to make a bridge, and away we can go. So yeah, for those of you not familiar, Ratchet and Clank is a long-running 3D platformer series with more of a focus on combat than like actual platforming. Uh, we're going to be dealing with like some weapons later on once I get through this Clank section. Oh yeah, y'all don't want none of this. Y'all don't want none of this. God, I forgot how beautiful this game looks. But yeah, I mean it did make my. Uh, G-O-T-Y list when it came out. So, yeah, I'm essentially just showing off the game, you know, bits and pieces of it. Showing why you should give this a shot on PlayStation Plus this month. But yeah, Ratchet & Clank is just all about the destruction. That's really all it is. The story's good, too. <laughs> Though, I mean, I'm... I don't know. I don't know. Like, I honestly feel... Like, this game, while it's probably technically the best Ratchet & Clank game, I just have a minor gripe with the story, but that's just because I've been spoiled on the overarching canon that the series has had. Not to mention the fact that this game... Like, the, the main villain of this game is this dude named uh, uh, Supreme Ultimate Executive Chairman Drek. He was a beast in the first game. And then, like, for this game, his role was tremendously, like, dialed back. And this dude that wasn't even a factor until the third game became the main villain of this game. And, yeah, that's just, like, the nostalgia fiend in me being a little upset about that. But it's not the end of the world, and this game is definitely worth your time. Because I don't think anybody else is really going to have that same complaint I have. But yeah, like overall, it's just a really enjoyable, fun game. The writing is always hilarious. I feel like they want me to do something here. It's It's been a hot minute, like I said. I will figure this out. Because I think I want that buddy over here, but okay. No, I'm going to turn you into a power bot. Toss you on there. There we go. This is freaking sweet. Oh, 
Alrighty, why did I want to come over here actually? Oh yeah, we got some... My life flashed before my eyes. But yeah, we got some stuff over here to do. Go ahead, open up this here door. Grab this here bot, buddy. And through here we can go. Yeah, my bridge is still right here. That's good. That is good news for me. We're gonna go ahead, make you a power bot, toss you at that. We got one more right there, and I got a phone to answer. Give me a second. Okay, that, that's been taken care of. Robo buddy, I am coming for you. I'm also grabbing... Oh, uh, I thought I was gonna grab bolts, but no, I just grabbed him. Yeah, the currency in this game, bolts. Everything gives you bolts. Like, everything. Um, thank you. And so now we can go through here. Yeah, you, know, you can get bolts from crates, just random things you can destroy as well. You will never hurt for currency in this game. Unless you're trying to save up for a pretty amazing weapon. That tends to happen. Okay, just still trying to get through Clank's section here. You know, like, all in all, with the Ratchet & Clank series, great music, great gameplay, great writing. It's just an all-around great series. Not much really bad to say about it, other than, you know, my plane right now. Um... Lord, I wish Clank could strafe and yeah, we got him okay yeah you can also get ugh, rare titanium uh, that can be used to mod your weapons we'll get more into that when we get ratchet back after this section here okay I need health health is nanotech it is blue you get it from those little crates Okay, so yeah, clearly I am on challenge mode right now. Holy crap. Challenge mode is the Ratchet and Clank version of New Game Plus. Give me a second to get through here. This is getting a little hairy. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, OMG. Nope. Throw it! Oh my god, did, did I get them both? No. I'm... I'm very afraid right now. Oh no! <laughs> wow! Man, okay. Uh. <laughs> so much for playing well. Oh, there's nanotech in there too? This changes everything. I think I got them all. Yeah, your boy did it. Woo ha! Got them all in check. Okay. So I think we are nearing the end of this clank section. And not a moment too soon. Because I really do want to show off Ratchet. Oh god, we still got another, like, big puzzle. Yeesh. Okay, um. Trying to see if I recall this one. Yeah, this might take me a few minutes to get through. Nothing too difficult, though. And yeah, we're playing, like, the poor man's version of Frogger right now. It is what it is. There's a robo-buddy right here. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Okay, so yeah, you know what, just keep cool, stay on the conveyor belts, you'll be fine. You can't get crushed. I mean, you can only, like, get electrocuted to death if you, like, you know, hit one of those things. Well, that's not really electricity, it looks more like an energy field, so you don't want to get zapped. I think I can just go ahead and make you a power bot and toss you right here. Actually, no, I'm going to need you. Be a spring for me, fam. Thank you. 
I'm not sure where the final robo buddy. I see him over there. Let me go grab him real quick. Please. Please. Twisty jump. Got him. Okay. Oh, that wasn't really a twisty jump. Alright, just make my way back across. Yeah, I meant to jump down here anyway. I like to take the stairs. It's extra exercise, you know? Okay. So that's bot number two. You can see the magnet at work right now. And then I'm going to go ahead... Bot number three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Boom. No, no, no. That's not the one I meant to do. Boom. I mean, that was really a button press, not a double click, but okay. I have disengaged the facility's security grid. Good work, pal. See you back at the factory tarmac. Okay, and now we get control of Ratchet again. Well, I'm going to call a bit of an audible and uh, head on over to another planet. Hope you don't mind. So it appears I'm locked in here for the time being, so I'm going to try and avoid spoilers as much as possible. So yeah, for those of you not familiar with Ratchet and Clank, yet again, this is Ratchet. He's the character you control for the majority of the game. Clank sits on his back, and with Clank on your back, you can glide and do other things and yeah, just have fun. So, do, do... Yeah, I remember the controls. Okay. Yeah, you have your trusty little wrench, melee attack, and then you can always just, you know, bust out the big guns. You can strafe with it, lean with it, rock with it, all that good stuff. You got a quick select with all your weapons. I'm pretty much, like, maxed out on everything. This game also has Mr. Zircon and Zircon Jr. The, the Mr. Zircon weapon line is just absolutely freaking amazing. I love it. It's great. Look at him in all their glory. He is here to kill. And little Zircon is here too. Oh yes, let's roll out. Uh, but we're here to have fun today. So let's get an amazing weapon out. I mean, the Peacemaker is good, you know, Raptor launching, Apocalypse of Love, that sounds fun, Plasma Slayer, yeah, that that's this game's sniper rifle, or is, am I thinking of, no, 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 the Pixelizer is the game's shotgun, Heavy Bouncer is just beautiful, uh, we got the Goatinator, Doom Blades, and oh, Rhino Extreme, I wonder what this does, okay, well, let's find some enemies to test this out with, shall we? Oh, wait. We're skipping cutscenes. Okay, so, um, everything is about to die. You can't really make out anything right now because of all the carnage and destruction I am raining down on my foes. It's pretty great. That's the power of the Rhino. Well, the Rhino Extreme. Thank you for finally opening the door. I want to kill more things. Hurry up. There are not enough things in the general vicinity. My god. I just need more things. Please. My trigger finger is itchy right now. Oh yeah, vendor. I'm kind of maxed out on everything. Uh, from the venue... Venue? From the vendor menu, you can also access, like, this little area right here where you can use raritanium to upgrade your weapons. I'm kind of maxed out on everything as you can plainly see. 
Eh, all right. Oh my god, actual platforming and my 3D platformer? Who would have guessed? Okay, so, well, the Zircons, they kind of, you know, murdered everything before I had the chance. But I won't hold that against them. Yeah. Rhino. It's very OP. It's just a magnificent weapon. I love it. But let, let, let's have some fun with other weapons, because most, well, 90% of the fun in Ratchet & Clank is just destroying everything with your favorite weapons. The Pixelizer is really cool. Crap, that was bad damage right there. Because I'm just going to run up on this dude right here. Boom. We have turned him into pixels. This is just an amazing weapon. Every weapon in this game is amazing in its own way. Also, I got a little power-up right here where I can just, you know, strike the ground and every destructible object in the general vicinity gets destroyed. Watch over here. So yeah, all in all, Ratchet & Clank, it's just super fun. This probably is the best game in the series. Though, oh, come on, man, really? Though, like me latching on to the story of the original, because, oh yeah, this was a remake of the very first Ratchet and Clank game. The story is as told through the eyes of a character named Captain Quark. And this is supposed to tie into a movie that came out. Yeah, it's been two years now? Yeah, Ratchet and Clank movie. Unfortunately, the movie was not that good. From what I heard, I didn't see it. I don't really intend to see it. Even now, but... Eh, they tried their best. It had promise, too. I mean, to screw up a Ratchet and Clank movie? That takes effort. Because... All you really had to do was just... Oh, come on, man. Oh, my goodness. I might die here. I hope not, because that would be pretty bad in this little showcase right here. Kill everything for me, Rhino. I'm just going to run around and shoot, not even pay attention. I'm about to destroy whoever's on this phone. Okay, I lost my train of thought, but at least it looks like I shall be living because the Rhino is just killing enemies before they can even enter my field of vision. How very thoughtful of this weapon. I really appreciate what it's doing for me. Am I still being shot at? Oh, yep, I sure am. Okay, well then. Um, Alright, we're good. We are good to go. Alrighty. Oh. Oh yeah, and the trespasser. We can use this to trespass. You got little puzzles like this. Uh, essentially, we're just trying to line up these lasers with the uh, what you call it. These little nodes, and by doing so, we can unlock the way to new areas, or just you know advance the story. We also have an auto hack feature right here, which I guess I should go ahead and do. But you can also like toggle the rings and whatnot, use that to your advantage, figure out like what setup will work best. Leave. No, I need that one, but they were kind of, oh, but you're blocking that. I think I can just get by. And then if I do, no, do, 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 do. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a little hover thing right here. That's always good, too. And I didn't even show off the Groove bomb. Hopefully, we get some enemies to show up so I can, you know, show off what this does. Where must I go? Hmm. Help me out here, map. You're not really helping me out there, map.
Here we go. All right. Uh, Groove Bomb. There we go. So yeah, the Groove Bomb causes your enemies to dance. It's just a fun little weapon. It's, it, yeah, it's kind of dumb, but I, I don't know. It's, it's just a charm of the game. There's always going to be like those weapons that are just like incredibly dumb, but you still love to play around with them in the game. Ratchet and Clank is just charming like that. Also, like these freaking blades. It's just so much fun. Every weapon in this game. Amazing stuff. I love it. So yeah, like if you're are a Ratchet and Clank fan and you own a PS4 and you don't have this, well, you can rectify that very soon by, you know, going into uh, the PlayStation or PSN shop, Sony shop, PlayStation shop, whatever it's called, PSN network, the, the storefront. Just, just log into your account, go to the PS Plus section now and get this game. Because, I mean, come on. Come on. You need this. And if you're not a Ratchet and Clank fan, you know, like you haven't grown up with the series, give it a shot. Because this is a really good game. Like, legitimately, it is great. I really can't, like, sing his praises so much more. It's just outstanding. I think we got a boss coming up, too. Oh, yeah. Mrs. Zircon. Let's let the family say hi to her. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just destroy her real quick. Because I do kind of want to show off one planet in particular. If I can do it after this. And it looks like we're done already. Thank you, Rhino. Seriously, that's the freaking power of the Rhino. This is... It's, it's, it's beautiful. Has the game even registered that I beat her yet? Or do I have to go somewhere to activate something? I'm gonna go investigate that okay, I finally am back to my ship. And, yeah, when you see, like, that little icon right there, that means, like, oh, yeah, this is where the next, like, main story thing occurs. This is the planet you want to go to. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go over here to Rilgar real quick. And, yeah, that's my ship. Pretty pimped out, right? Yeah. Okay, the only reason I'm here was because of a mini game. I figure I might as well show off, just show off as many aspects of the game as I can in this little video here. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead because there are races, hoverboard races. I have completely like just fallen out of how to effectively do these, but eh, whatever it is, what it is, we'll give it a shot here. So yeah, you can do tricks in the air. You want to build up your little boost meter before you do tricks, though. And this is a very easy way to get bolts as well. Come on. Eh. And yeah, I know I have some boosts on deck, but I want to save them for ramps like this. Look at that. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. No, no, no. Okay. I'm out of practice with this. I am... Quite out of practice with this. But yeah, this is a fun little, like, thing to do. And you can do, like, different tricks based on... Well, like, more high point tricks based on how you move the analog stick to execute them. Yeah, this is just a minor thing in the game. You're really not going to be doing uh, too many races. But it's still fun. And let's see if I can pull off. Okay, well, maybe I should have used my boost there. Should have used the boost to get through. I guess that's on me. I'm just saving them for a rainy day, you know. You know, you never know when you're gonna need them, like right now. That boy, I sure have egg on my face. How about now? Oh, look at this. Okay, yeah, that was not the best trick in the world. But I'm trying my best. 
I am also definitely not going to win this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm only in second. I'm only in second. Use the boost to get through. Oh, would you look at this. And we have done it. I didn't doubt myself for a second there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at the names to see if there's going to be any puns there. Unfortunately, no puns. Wow, I was actually ahead by quite a bit. Huh. All right. So I guess that's pretty much everything to show off here. I mean, we saw, well, we saw a clank section, you know, with the whole puzzle platforming elements. Though, there's only a handful of those in the game. That's not what the majority of your time is going to be spent in doing. Your majority, look, the majority of your time will be spent with our pal Ratchet here. We saw a little of that. We saw a mini game, and, uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. So, by all means, if you've never played this game, and you have a PS4, and you have PlayStation Plus, by all means, download this game. You will not regret it. I never talked to you. Really? tell you what. I'll give you this trespasser if you let me take your picture. But I already have a trespasser. <laughs> I never talked to him on this run through? Really? Okay then. You know what? Dance puppet. Yeah, I think this is like the only trophy I'm missing to like make everybody in the game dance with the Groove Bomb. But the game doesn't actually tell you like which people you've made dance and which ones you haven't. Like, cause I think it has to be all NPCs and all enemies. So yeah, it's uh. It's rough. Oh yeah, when the music stops, it explodes and everything that was in the general area dies. It's a common thing with this game. You know, things just die. Like, Ratchet is just a one-man army. He doesn't need anybody else. But this game threw some other people with him just, you know, to boost their egos. You know, they, they needed to, you know, to feel good about themselves. And, you know, Ratchet, he can handle it, but, you know, they want to feel like they're helping too. So yeah, that's it for this game, and uh, yeah, I will see you all next time with another game in the March 2018 PlayStation Plus lineup. Also, a uh, quick little side note here, now that the main video is essentially over, this is also a test of my current, well not current, but like this cheap HDMI converter I bought off Amazon, you know, just to see if it'll work and you know, allow me to do, whatchamacallit, uh, Switch and PS4 stuff, at least in the short term, until I get a better computer to use my Elgato, or at least just figure out what was causing it to have the issues it was, and to see if I could find a workaround for it. So, yeah, here's hoping the video didn't look too bad, though, based on the preview, it looked pretty dang amazing. 1080i can work miracles. But yeah, I'm done here. Goodbye.